So I think for me, the next things I do are going to very much dictate how everyone else is going to do the next shit. I'm making tapes, but now I'm not dropping them because I'm like, I did the death of thing. My life didn't change. Mm. I was like, I'm supposed to be an XXL freshman. <laughs> but <laughs> now, yeah. You may think you're skipping the steps, but you're not. You uh, never, uh, ever skip those steps. And we see it all the time. Like, the artists uh, who have like that one thing that catches mm. later on, they're like, ah, oh, Mung Mung is not so good at performing, what, what, what? Mm. They're developing mm. on the job. Mm. Now you gotta go back and revert and actually put in that work, like learn how to perform, learn how to... You never skip that Don't process. Don't miss the steps. You're gonna meet it eventually. And you're live on Dead Radio. Welcome to another very special episode of Dead Radio with your boy Ini. Um, and today I have one of my favorite rappers in the game right now. Um... I really fuck with this dude's presentation of his music. Besides the fact that the music is fire, the presentation for me is like peak. Um, so I'm gonna let him intro himself and then we're gonna dive a little bit into his life story and then extract as many jewels as we possibly can for you guys. So yeah, okay. who I, are you? I'm, I'm happy to be here firstly. Shout uh, out. My, I go by the name of Tyson Sabatelli, government name Tabiso Tyson Moya. Uh, born in KZN, raised in Pretoria. I'm a musician, producer, songwriter, graphic designer. Um, what else? I, I design what you see and what you hear. Okay. <laughs> I enjoy that. Shout out, shout out. Um, I want to start, let's take it back. Growing up yeah. in KZN, did you grow? How how long were you in KZN before you moved to Pretoria? Or uh, yeah, how was that? Journey? So it's originally where both my parents are from, okay. where I was born, where I grew up to like my early years. Okay. And um, what's early is like ten, early, eleven, nah, not twelve, even, like really, really early. Like, oh, like, like was, a baby. Yeah, until I was four, because like um, my parents were still like um, the, um, moving around, like okay, um, dope. But like jobs would going different places okay. right so they were finding their footing as, as young adults right and so we'll by my grannies with my many cousins and stuff right so i can't even remember most of my days there because after that we moved to joburg immediately when we were like four my dad got a promotion um, to come out to joburg so we moved that side at the same time okay. and from there it was Kempton Park and then it was okay. Pretoria oh, yeah. where my key years started ah, when I was like eight and onwards okay. for the rest of my adolescence okay let's start there right when you moved to Pretoria yeah. so when you moved to Pretoria um, what type of kid were you I, wanna, I didn't know how to speak English. Okay. It's really full Zulu. Full, full Zulu. Zulu. Full Zulu, bro. So when we had But your name is Tabiso. Are Zulu. your parents Sana? No. But it's like my, my granny named me uh, Tabiso. Don't, it's like she knew when I go to Pretoria. So it's a crazy she, thing. She got the vision. It's crazy. We've had this talk with the yeah. man. Like, yeah. It's like she knew. Because yeah. my, myself and my sister, we both have like uh, Sana and Sutu so names. I mean. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now as a kid, I was very quiet because now we're okay. in Pretoria and you so now it's Tana. You English. can't relate. Yeah, so I it's like get you. pick up English because of the TV and stuff. Like, yeah, mm. I went to like different crashes where kids were speaking English and whatnot, mm. but I'd always just speak through or just keep to myself. I was quiet. You know? Crazy. So when we landed in Pretoria, it was very much a, let me keep to myself. Let me just study. Like everyone, I just pay attention to everybody. Okay. Cartoons, cartoons really taught me English, and then. So that's where you learned how to speak English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From there. I won't lie. I did too. But, yeah, I won't lie. I feel like we yeah. all were raised by that. So facts. People. So when time to time people joke that my voice is animated or it sounds very white, white. I'm like, yo, bro, it's how I learned. Mm. So, so yeah, um, the Pretoria space. As a youth, I was a very quiet guy, but like my parents were very much into music. Okay. So I think okay. that was my introduction to music. No, what? Well, what type of music was your dad listening to? Your mom listening to? Yeah, you see, my parents. My parents are very like hip, very very hip. Um, Fifty Cent. What? Fifty Cent was prime. That was my mom. What? Oh, that was my dad. He's a G unit yeah. guy. Yeah, big. No, shout out to your dad, bro. He's an OG. My mom worked at the mall, so okay. my. Uh, she always get out around four or five, or we go to the mall around four or five. Okay. So what? When my dad comes back home, blah, 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 then we get in the car and go wait. Wait for her, yeah. Like the, the workers parking, so mm -hmm. we get out the back, right? 
where she went. So we always listen to everything. Or sometimes if we can't wait, we go inside the mall and we go inside the museum. No. So we had a lot of CDs and 50 Cent was always banging. Thing is, I didn't know these artists by name. I knew 50 Cent by name, but the, all the other influences I didn't know by I name. I just knew the music. Like your Snoop you. Dogs, your Outkast, your, a lot of artists. So your dad put rap in your life, yeah. basically. Him, he loved that. Damn. I think the only album I knew, like, like that I yeah. wanted it, was yeah. Booga 2. Um, Banzola for like hip hop. What? Got the CD, had Bucket Head. What? That's the CD we got in Durban before we moved. And uh, I, still have, I still have it to this day. Uh, crazy enough, the Booga 2 name into now the 2 2 2. Oh, crazy. Gotta play Armin. Crazy, you know? I feel you. It's, I feel it, you. It just happens at 2 I man. feel yeah. you. That's so dope. Bro, yeah. Okay, so you're listening to music before you guys pick up your mom. Um, yeah. What music are you gravitating to? Like, or are you just like listening to whatever like your parents are listening to? They they used to tell me that I used to sing every song that came on, right? Like, okay, like, you're a jukebox. Yeah, like I start singing along to it. What, what, what? Yeah. Oh, but. Know myself like I don't even when you're chilling at home, you know people be like singing and humming songs yeah. and they might I don't do that. Uh, I think that's annoying. But to be told I used to do that a lot as a kid, it was funny. It's crazy. It's not in me. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I used to it was a lot of R and B, a lot of um Whitney Houston, uh, Dope. I mean the voice made actually I won't I feel like kids always gravitate towards that type of music. <clears throat> that that yeah. was my ish. Yeah. But yeah. then Growing further, further, fifty cent was just cool. I feel they, they showed me that fifty cent is the guy. 50 I cent is feel cool. like no one's bigger than him, no one's better. I I still to this day, I can argue that. No I feel you. Crazy yeah, yeah, I feel you. Swear he might have one of the best come ups in hip hop. Period. Period. Longest run period. guitar. Period. Thanks. So that's where I saw what hip hop is. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. this is he describes it perfectly. From the gangsterism to the violence to the feel get rich, you. from the rags to riches story, I Fifty Cent just made the perfect. He embodied what black culture is in hip hop, coming you. up from nothing. I was like, damn, this is it. It didn't make me want to rap yet, but I was like, this, this is it. Okay, <laughs> and then when does that bug hit you? The music uh, bug, like from being a mm. listener to a producer or a maker. Like, when does that transition begin? Mm. For me, it was when, it was in primary, actually, like, uh, grade four or five. So, besides listening to music, like, my dad would play, and, like, music we hear on TV, mm. uh, like, I never played music on my own, like, at the crib. We had a sound system, but, but you would never... Because, as I said, I don't know the artist. All I know is 50 Cent. Let's put in a 50 Cent CD. But all these other dudes, I don't know that I get. All this. So, my dad got me a sound system. I didn't use it. Damn. I didn't use it at all. And my sister even took my speakers and would play. Or oh, when people had songs on their phones, I'd just get whatever my friends were sending. Uh, I'm like, oh, this is Lady Gaga. This is Young Money. This uh, is. But like, sometimes you. I didn't care for the name. The names were always written in Young Dad. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Like, Rename yeah. it. Or, uh, yeah. I was like, yo, screw the name. Let me just listen to whatever this is. But That's when we were pirating the fuck out of music. Yeah. My bad. We were not bad. We were doing all of that. Yeah. But I didn't care for the artist's name. I didn't know who I was making it. I didn't understand that aspect until I met a guy called uh, Ill Rose. One of my closest friends to this day. We started the music. Shout together. out to Ill Rose, bro. Ill Rose, yeah. solid dude. Yeah. And in, in the fourth grade, he was like a grade above, and he failed, and we were in the same grade. Uh, and I was like, okay. okay. So he was like a big one because I grew up in a house with sisters. So uh, are you the only boy? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Our older sister got younger. Oh, so so and uh, we always had like um, cousins from my mom's side or from my dad's side stay with us, and they were always older, and they were always girls. I guess. So yeah, I grew up with a lot of women in the house. Dope. So. I never had that brotherly figure, right? Mm. So I he got that. He becomes that. From the early. So I was like, okay. Uh, he's brother putting him on this music. I'm like, who's time? He's like, nah, this is what. He showed me, he's showing me the internet now. Like, we, you know, you use the internet for like games and stuff mm. like that. He was like, on the internet, you can get beats and make your own music. I'm like, brother, what are you what talking is this? about? So he, he's at my house on my computer showing me what the computer uh, can do. He's like, hey, he's like, this, get this program installed. I was like, oh my gosh, you can make music from your own laptop computer. crazy so we we started um he downloaded instrumental six foot seven foot your everything we had all those instrumentals right on usbs he made sure we put on my usb as well i love that usb she did with my heart i feel it every day after school 
on virtual DJ, we load the beat one side and then hit record. You know how you record and you plan your Yes, mix? yes, yes. So vocally, if you connect that headset that has a small <laughs> mic on, you can rap as well, but you have one tape and you can't Like hear that it. little video game, like mm. uh, mic, yeah. You better pray you're on beat and yeah. you better pray you're on beat. can't feel you. can't you. mix, you can't nothing. So we'd like, I'd rap to six foot seven foot ten times every single day. We'd have different versions. How, how do you even know how to rap? Or you're just emulating what you've heard in the yeah. rap songs. So my boy tells me, listen, when you drop a beat, it's called freestyle. Oh. So like, da, 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 and the cat had a hat. And oh. I'm like, yo, this guy is... He used to be able to rap Undertaker with almost everything. I was like, this guy's the one. Uh, I can't do that. I feel... I, we in class writing poetry now, trying to show people that we can rap, yeah, bro. we can rap. We can rap. rap. But he could yeah. do it off his head. I was like, bro, me, I right. Yo. So he showed me at the virtual when what was that mic rig, right? Yeah. So it's like, yo, listen, there's no time for you to pull out your paper and rap on beat. You need to freestyle, mm-hmm. follow the melody of the beat. So that's when I really became good at that. That's when the plant I mean the seed was planted. Yeah. Then from there you um, Shout out to El Rose. Bro. Yeah. You come with like USB to certain songs like yo, I downloaded this. This is what I was like, oh this is what what? Mm, bet. Listen to that. Like, yo, this is Walker Flock. I'm like, oh okay, bet. I listen to that. And all of that. Going yeah. to high school, we had like all the dudes then us who were like, you know, you can make your own beats. Then he got the little mm-hmm. FL Studio on the thing. Mm-hmm. And then in that same USB, I asked that other friend, put in all the songs you know from this year, mm-hmm. 2012. So um, this guy was telling me, yo, this guy, Kevin Clomar, he's yeah. a good kid, Mad City. Yeah. When it drops next week, I'll have it on that. I'm like, whoever it is, put it in. Put it in. So he gave me his whole music library. And I kid you not, school holidays, I never went nowhere. I never did not. I just you listened to music. Focus. And I yeah. tried to make it on virtual DJ at the same time and mix craft and audacity. But we were also trying to learn FL Studio. Ah, so that's when it started. I started learning who musicians are. Only in high school, like, this is Mang Mang. Ah, this is, okay. Out of them, in, in primary, all we knew was from, from 50 Cent, it was, this is Lil Wayne. Do you know Jay Z? I'm like, ah, let me see. Jay Z, the business guy. You know? The business, yeah, Beyonce is, yeah, I guess. So it was only until high school, like, grade 8. Where well, you're yeah, like, yo. Okay, these, these guys do this. The artwork makes sense with this. The beat is this. I get you. I made like maybe five tapes that year. In what? Self-produced, so self-recorded. They still chilling with me. Somewhere. Because mind you, all these years I still haven't had a mic. Damn. So, we went from the headset yeah. to the iPod Nano. Ah. So I, we didn't have a studio set up. Someone jacked me on my yeah, That's a hack. Yeah. The iPod Nano. The iPod Nano. So we, we can't hear the beat because like... The song is based uh, on yes, my iPod. Yes, 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 and yes. And I do the voice memo thing. So I'm oh, like, okay, let me just rap it over one beat and then walk home and then I'll extract it. Oh, what? Okay, so at this time, what are your parents like saying? Are they fueling this thing that's building inside you? Not at all. So okay. it's like, um, my parents used to both work after school. So yeah. that's how I was able to always bring my one oh, friend oh, over. Just okay. chill. And then okay. around like you know, six going to seven, his parents come pick him up from uh, there. And then, because like, it's yeah. better than him chilling at school. I like, feel you. Waiting for him there. Let's just walk to my crib. It's pretty far, you. but uh, it's close to as well. Yeah. So yeah, yeah uh, we'd always do that. But my, so my parents would always come back or like um, always hear us like, ah, these guys are trying to rap. Ah, these guys are trying to record. Sometimes they make jokes, but they wouldn't like fully endorse it. I feel like it. I it feel wasn't it. until like um, even on the weekends, I'd be like, "Yo, can you drop me off at my mom's house because we want to record?" <laughs> okay. <laughs> these niggas, uh, these guys. Yo. But I swear, who says every every single day, every single weekend, I feel like holiday. I won't lie. Like when I listen to the way you put pen to paper right now, like the bars, right? I'm like. Yeah, this guy's put in the 10,000 hours. I'm like, sure, sure. I can hear it. Yeah. I can hear it. That's the thing. And it's crazy for you to say that. Do you still believe, in, in the time that we live in, yeah. do you believe kids should put in 10,000 hours in their craft? Yeah. In a time where any when I could record my first song ever today, mm-hmm. put it up on TikTok, blow the fuck up, like... That was crazy. And skip all those steps of you recording on the iPod mm. Nano, all that shit. Do you listen? Do you think kids should still put in ten thousand hours? Yeah, yeah. Because you may think you're skipping the steps, but you're not. You uh, never uh, ever skip the steps, and we see it all the time. Like uh, artists who have like that one thing that catches mm. later on, 
They're like, ah, Mung Mung is not so good at performing, what, what, what. Mm-hmm. They're developing mm-hmm. on the job. Mm-hmm. Now you gotta go back and revert and actually put in that work, like learn how to perform, learn how to, you never skip that Don't process. Miss the You're gonna meet it eventually. And you'd hate to want to see it when there's a bunch of eyes on you. Rather start learning when there's like two eyes on you. Damn. Damn. For you learn which audience that grows with you. you y'all are growing together, so you never you. skip that. Ten thousand hours early is better than like later, because you you can't skip it, bro. I feel you. You can't. Feel- Either way, it will catch up to you. It's got you can't not run the store. Yeah. I was, like, bro. Either pay the price now or later. Regardless, it's gonna rain, bro. You yeah. better learn to build that yeah. umbrella. I feel you. Ah, we've I had feel you. It's because like we all, we all as musicians, we all want to blow up, right? Yeah. We all want to yeah. blow up in our youth. Yeah. Like, ah, yeah. nah. But I'm just, I'm gonna be a seventeen year old. I'm, I'm gonna be Bow Wow. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, like I'm gonna have it at a young age, you know, Justin Bieber, but a forever. Well, 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 we all, we all yeah. want that. We all I want to feel up early, but it's actually a blessing that you don't. I feel it. Because you. you get to learn and you get to see what you want. The things you wanted when you were young, yeah. the things you want when, when you're, you're older, older right? Yeah. Okay, so now you guys are like in this flow of recording music, mm. recording music. You get to matric. Mm. What are you thinking at that time? Because the next year is like whatever, university, go yeah. get a job. It's like, okay, the real world is actually about to begin. Yeah. What's your mindset at that time? Like, I think throughout high school is when I realized that I should actually take this seriously. Because we're doing it for fun, as mm. I said. We don't have to make beats, we don't have to do this. Mm. Um, but it became tough to record it like my house because then my mom lost her job, right? Uh, um, uh, for some reasons I can't actually say, but she was actually a G, like, she yeah. was real. It was either you all step down or like uh, everyone gets some shit. One of those like, situations, I get you. Down. It's cool. I get you. So I she was you. real, so she was home a lot. So I remember she said to me, she, my mom doesn't know much about this stuff, but she's actually informed now because wow, we yeah. her cool. I feel so like I explained it. to her. So she was like to me, listen, there's this thing called YouTube. Gonna make this music thing put on YouTube, get money, grow. Like you gotta push. Uh, you gotta try. Like you don't understand. Do it. This is what you love. Yeah. Yeah. Then make something up. Don't I play with it. I was like, okay, okay, cool. This was like in the eighth or ninth grade. I was like, okay, cool. I gotta take the set. So out of all those tapes I recorded, I was like, let me record two new ones and let me try to distribute it around. I'm gonna distribute it around. So um, I think in like the seventh grade, we had like uploaded on a site called um, the Two Dope Boys. Okay. I think I remember two uh, dope boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now these sites, yeah, like, those sites. Upload facts, and facts. Like, when you upload, they want the picture. Why did you want the picture? Facts. Boy, what are you doing? Even hot new hip hop. Yo, shout out to yeah. all those like websites that people used hmm. to be able to upload on. Like I'm telling you, yeah, facts. So that's what we got all our music. When I learned how to download all this, mm. blah blah blah, we had one song up there. We got like, fifty downloads. I was like, this is crazy. And then we we're all moving on data file hosts during high school. Like, we we're moving, blah blah blah. Kids from that school, like, they got like thousands of downloads. I got like 50. I'm like, yo, bro, how are these kids doing it? Yeah. I need to clock 100. But I'm like, no, listen, they're not professional. They're still doing that. Five. My favorite musicians are on Dad Piff. Come on, I bro. Had Dad Piff. And I found out I didn't do Dad Piff. I had a tape on Dad Piff. It's still there on a different alias. I, I, I want to pause something there, right? Yeah. From already, you found a way to separate yourself from everyone else. Cause that's something that you still do to yeah. this day. Like that's my that's my main thing. Cause I feel like we all can do this rap thing. We all can do this rap thing great. As much as I think I'm the, I'm really really great at it. Yeah. How are we gonna tell apart when it comes to the consumer? You got more eyes. Mm. What can I bring eyes that I do uniquely mm. that you aren't doing? Like I really study my competition if they even competition. I feel you. Or like whatever's going on in the space. I'm like, okay, they missing out this 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 and this. Mm. And the blueprints right in your face when you look at your. Your major artists, your pusher, your kid, yeah. your meat meal, your what one. What are they doing different? Like, hey, how did he drop it? You put it on that piff? How do I get on that piff? Mm-hmm. That's what I asked myself, and I was like, okay, this is going to be easy because all my friends started from that piff anyway. If I'm there, I'm going to be cool. Already that puts you here. Bro, if everyone in school was talking to me different when, yeah. when you're they up there, um, click up a button, I feel you. I <laughs> make feel a profile, you. click a button. That's why I started making my own cover. I won't even lie to you. My own cover, like, I was like, listen, come on to normal, right? So that's like, when the design element comes in. All, it. all summer, because my name is Teddy, right? Yeah. So, yeah. short from Teddy Tubbies. Mm. From my government name, Tubbies. Ah, Teddy Tubbies. Ah, okay. Got it from a couple of hands, okay. right? So okay. I was like, listen, 
Oh no, my graphics, I'm putting the Teddy Tubbies there. What, what, what? People told me my heart is all whack. My heart's all whack. What, what, what? Ah, damn, you don't have I'm like, I'm gonna get better. Yeah. So I got better. I made yeah. a mixtape called Cartoon, Cartoon Spit or something. How are you making the art? Like, um, people had Photoshop, but I couldn't work Photoshop. Yeah. So I downloaded some app that wasn't too heavy on my PC. Because okay. they had jacked me on my laptop. So I was using my, my sister's laptop. Ah, she already uses it. Yeah. This program called a mini version of Photoshop. Okay. Called okay. GIMP. G I M P. Okay. It, it doesn't have all those crazy. Didn't have all those crazy. But it can do but the basics. I feel like, you. This this green. I want I orange. Feel I want, you. And I figured out how to do a thing where, like, your cover art is this. Yeah. And if you tilt it, you see something else. Uh, Let's go straight in. I told my friends, tilt your phone back when you look at my cover. Everyone looked at me crazy, like, yo, this guy, yeah. he's, like, he's a head, and he's on that fifth, and you yo. I was cool around the school. So does that 50 downloads now turn to... Two, it went to 200. I won't forget. My okay. Okay. 200. Okay. We celebrate. Okay. Bro. Now you're like, okay, motion. Yeah. My friend's is also still in the picture. Even though I'm producing everything, I feel like, like one beat on there. I'm, I'm happy that I'm producing it. I'm mixing it. I'm recording my... Still no microphone, by the way. I feel So you. it's like still I put that on. Walk back, walk back home, shift it on beat. That's how I learned yeah. how to actually time with the beat. Because, like, I can't play. Yeah. Like, I just gotta remember how I listen to the beat on my walk. Because I used to walk in the heat too. I get um, you. It was a drug dealer guy I knew, right? He was in the high grade. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't do drugs, I don't yeah. know what, but he was yeah. just like, yo, there's no one at my crib. You can just come through. So and record, yeah. And record. I was like, okay, dope. Dope. He, he didn't understand how I could remember the beat and go back home and know what I'm rapping to. Because he's like, we can't play it at the same time Damn. as the, yeah, was learning. Yo, but like you're going through like rap boot camp without even yeah. being aware of, <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm in boot camp right now. It was like, crazy. I think it, it, it's where, it's what taught me to take it, it it's what taught me to take it serious. It's mm-hmm. after, that was the year when my mom said, listen, this, 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 you see how we are at home. I like get yeah, you figure it out yeah, if yeah. you want to do this I'm thing. It's very serious because I don't know what I want at school, and I'm not even a dumb kid. Like I'm pretty I smart. Get you. I'm getting by because I'm smart. I'm not because it's I'm listening to class and watching. So I get you. that's kind of helping me draw a lot of time in the desk because I like my friends who are studying for this, that, and that. I can just a couple I minutes get cram you. and then. And, uh, so all my time is going to making this music, blah blah blah. Okay. So after that, that fifth finish, I was like, I'm that guy. I'm that one man. A few notable names who are kind of big in the industry now. Ah, we started to uh, bump into them like on Facebook and stuff like okay. that. Um, okay. I didn't have a Facebook page, I had a profile. I was like, how do you get a page? How do you mm. work with? So I was learning that as well. And they were older. Like, they they, they famous now. Like, they were I way older. They were even know themselves. They I were older. And it was like, I always DM them. Because I'm like, who's hard in that school? Who's hard in there? Because I thought I'm the best mm. in my school. And because there was always rap battles at my school. And undeniably, okay. okay. ask anybody. Okay. I was that guy from grade okay. eight. I was out rapping them with Trish. They knew it. Damn, you don't you don't come to that boy. Yeah, they knew. Yeah. It. So, yeah. um, it was the year after that. Now going to matric, it was like I still kept doing the same thing, making tapes. But now I'm not dropping them because I'm like I did the dad thing. thing. My life didn't change. Mm. I was like I'm supposed to be an XXL freshman. <laughs> but now you're like I feel you. What what? And then I see names like Nasty C, like mm. Pricey. Mm. Like, How are they big? No man. Okay. How do I? How do I get in these carnivals? How do I? And that shows. At that time, are you just purely looking at the American like rap um, industry or entertainment industry? Are you even looking at what's happening locally? Are you looking at like the AKAs? I'm looking the... at both. I'm, looking uh-huh. at both. I'm a big fan of AKAs. Okay. Uh, okay. My dad um, was big on uh, Doomy. Uh, and he said that Doomy's the best rap. Uh, I don't even know. Your dad is an old. Gee, Listen, bro. he thinks he's OG. <laughs> I don't. My thing is, I'm like, I don't even know. Who yeah, is. Yeah, I know where yeah. he is. Uh, and then you. there was a, a song feel with you. the Zeus Doom, aka that that's what's up track, where AK went last, and he just and he bodied it. Yeah, 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 yeah he bodied it. He oh, bodied it. Yeah. Yeah. I told him like, Listen, that's the best rap. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like, that's the best rap. That's the I guy, feel you. That's the guy I gotta beat. <laughs> I won't lie, after I heard that verse, because before then, I wasn't really an AKA fan. But after I heard that, I was like, okay, I know. Forget everyone else. This is the guy. What I love, this is the guy. When I go, when I go, like in the local scene, what's going on, blah, 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 you nasties are hard, blah, blah, blah. But I was big on AKA, as I said. But I only knew the songs I knew from TV and radio, mm-hmm. and it was before Alter Ego, right? So 
was like, we Google this guy. Every time we Google them, it's AKA. So it's very tough to find. I feel so we went to Facebook. It was an easy link, Ivy League. Uh, Downloaded uh, that um, 24-7-360. With the, with the ice cream yeah, mixtape. With the, I remember that. I listened to it. I was like, oh, yeah. too much. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. not to Yeah, he's not play. Like, play. This guy's on a streak. So I started getting more from him. I learned what's going on in the NSA mm-hmm. scene. Who's, who's what? Reason. What, 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 what? All these names. That's when, when I started seeing problems. Yeah, true. But like sure. kids on BBM and Mixit were talking about certain rappers. So and that's a file also always broadcasted to like around Pretoria, right? Yeah. So I've come across your Aries, your words. Okay. Okay. So okay. it wasn't until like I had a Twitter in like twenty eleven, but I only had it for like jokes and stuff. Uh, like that. It wasn't until like the scene is moving, it's V Entertainment now and I'm studying I'm like, okay, this is next. Yeah. See, he's hot and he's hey, man, this what 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 I'm seeing from all of that like Oh, so that's why I'm not an exit up freshman yet. Cause I, yeah. from my from my little space, I thought I did this, so I'm hot. But I'm only big in my space. Mm, that's I cool. haven't even that's conquered so cool. my I feel city. You. I feel you. I'm on, these guys have the country. I was like, there's tears to this. That's what I'm real. The steps. You can't yeah. skip those steps. Yeah, I can't skip them. Yeah. So, yeah. as time progresses, I'm getting better at this stuff. But as I said, I, I wasn't big on socials, and I'm not an out there person. I just made my music. That's what I mm-hmm. care about. So my friend made an Instagram for me, and around Centurion and Pretoria, there were parties going on. There was a huge party scene there amongst the kids, house parties, blah blah blah. Okay. So he had gotten in contact with those people, and he had pushed my links, and they thought I was the coolest thing ever. But I didn't know. Mm-hmm. So my friend comes to school the next day. And he's like, "Yo, my boy, I think you're gonna perform in two weeks." I'm like, "Tough for." <laughs> what do you mean? Like, well, my boy, what is that? It's like some like ciphers. What do they know? And you're live on Dead Radio. <laughs> and you're live on Dead Radio. So, um, at this time, you've put out music, it's moving in whatever like the school like situation yeah. but like you've never performed in front of a crowd never and you already thought fuck it out I'll, I'll kill it yeah so it was like my friend actually understood that my music's translating to other kids and other communities of mutual we share yeah i didn't think beyond that i thought i'm gonna dominate my school exercise our freshman I like, get so that's why he made the socials for me and he actually started pushing my link to like certain people. He'd follow people, engage uh-huh. with them, and follow then me back on not knowing that that's not me. That's him. Yeah. Crazy. That's yeah. him. So your homie believed in the yeah, music. Yeah, my friend Tain yes. believed in my in what I was doing. Yeah, that's so fine. he did that for me that's until fine. the party um invite thing came. So yeah. there were some friends I I knew in Centurion, right? Like they were younger than me. But like we had mutuals, right? So they did a party before, and it, they, they, their group name is called Suicidal, but like they named their party after one of my songs. I'm like, well, okay, okay. So they did the second one, and they named it after another one of my songs yeah. called Summer. I'm like, okay, yeah. that's dope. And they put the song in the trailer. Yeah. I was like, yeah. okay, they made a trailer for the party. Well, what? That's fire. These guys, what, what, what? That is They're like, yo, we want to meet you. Yo, you are good at what you do, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah, okay, make it happen, bro. What, what, what? So yeah. what do we do? They're like, when we play your song, nigga. Rather than you rap. I'm like, don't worry, I'm that guy. So I, we then Uber took a taxi to my friend's yeah. house. We all met up at the homie's house. I'm like, yeah. what time the party start? It's like at like six. I'm like, I'm around seven, eight. Because like, you're the star. Yeah. You know, so the you he's named after you. Fashion. He's like, late. all these kids know you. They, these are kids in another school. People in my school are hearing about this party now. Crazy. And they're like, yo, bro. you're that guy. You're mm. the... I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Not knowing that, I still don't know how to even log on to Instagram. Uh, so he's telling them we're on the way, whatever. He's acting like my manager. He was the only one of our homies who had like a car. He had like an old, um, old like Ford and shit. It's kind of beat up. Shut up. Window leader. But he did the thing. Yeah. yeah. So I got in the back seat yeah. with two of the other homies. Like, yeah. you look like you have an entourage. I'm like, yeah, that's an entourage. Yeah. Let's roll. <laughs> I'm in the, in the car. We roll there. We get to the party. <laughs> we drive into the party. And now uh, the boys are like, no, roll the windows down. A bit short of it's you. Roll the window down. I'm just chilling. So people are going, no, it's him. The girls are going, no, it's him. So I'm like, oh you. damn! I get you. Bro, I'm kind of famous. Yeah. People yeah. go, oh, Sam, so, so, so. Get out the car, people walk up to the car, and they're like, yo, let's escort him in. It's him. Yeah. Get to the gate, they open it, like, who's that? I'm like, it's that guy. I feel it's it. That guy's the Tyson. Damn. 
And then, damn. I performed ass. It's horrible. I feel you. Horrible. They just loved it. The song just kept going. I got too drunk. I don't even drink. But that was my first. That was the first moment of like, okay, actually, I'm a rap star. Yeah, hey, bro, I got the rider. The rider was crazy. Yeah. Bro, like, I didn't know what a rider was. <laughs> <laughs> and, just, uh, and I was going through, see, going through things. Uh, I was you. trying to perform. I uh, get you. I was hazy. I get you. Like, yo, I get you. <sighs> he just kept rapping the song without me, but that one blew me away. I was like, yo, they're rapping a song. I call rap. They yeah. rap. Them. They rap, 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 rap. Okay. The next one play. I'm still looking at my glass. I still have the mic in my hand. My boy's holding me. Now we do. He gets on the table. Bro, that's with me. crazy. He's just holding me. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Does, does this footage exist anywhere? Yeah, a photo of it. Oh, dope. just the photo. Because the cops shut it down. Oh, it got they that crazy. Shut, they always get shut down. Yeah, that was, that's true. So that was my that's first crazy. one, and then okay. from then on, performed that a, a lot of part. Every single time, part these parties happened. So I, I just want to pause there. So yeah. after this moment happens okay you perform for the first time you see people um reciprocating your your words back yeah. to you yeah. what ha- what starts happening in your mind i think for me that's when i realized that yo i was thinking too small uh-huh. i was thinking too small and i think on the social media thing i can gauge how many people support me so my boy tells me you have 200 followers i'm like 200 followers that's you. crazy. I feel I'm like, like 50 on Twitter. I feel and it's like a weird American account because I'm always engaging with the jokes and stuff like that. He's like, make your Twitter about music, do this. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Made an email. I'm like, okay, people have booking emails. Yeah, have to talk to me through the email. Okay. What, what? So I start formalizing that structure. That whole thing. That whole thing. Okay. And ah, then from there, I, I did a lot of parties. But the bookings never came from my email. I never got no emails. Damn. They never did emails. They would always text my friend or text my Instagram in the uh, DMs. I'm like, oh, these are people just DM me. I I feel you. So you showed me how to get it on my phone. Because okay. I was also a phone person. I get you. So I, I get had to you. get the app on my phone. Like, too much space. I'm like, I gotta delete yeah, stuff you. now. Also, I never had music on my phone. Never. Crazy. I, I had music on my iPod. As I said, my iPod, oh, that was iPod. everything. Music was here, so no one could say, send me songs. What are you listening to? It's just like on so my iPod, like I, I can't send this on my iPod. iPod. Then I had two iPods, like yeah. one for my own music and then one for music I listen to. So I was uh, stacked. Okay. And at school, I had like a speaker in my other pocket, like oh, the big speaker. I was that guy, bro. Yo, I put people on music, Crazy. so I was that guy. Like. Pe- the way I was always plugging and searching for music, people would come to me like, yo, put me oh, on the list. the new. So that's what I used to do for all in school. Like, come to USB, I'll hook you up. Put so from your dad plugging you to music to you yeah. now being the plug of like music. That's I'm dope. dope. I'm the plug. That's dope. dope. I had like different flips of certain Drake songs, that's all that stuff. Because I was like very curious on how are you doing this? What's a flip? What's a this? Okay, we just performed that. Emails, all of this. I'm learning the structure of it and I'm learning that, yo. It's bigger than your school. It's bigger yeah. than what you think it is. Yeah. You can actually take over the country. I was like, after that performance, ah, uh, bro, you couldn't tell me that I was gonna get that guy. It flipped in your like, mind. You were like, okay, yep, wait. The nasty see thing, that, but big. Mm-hmm. I got a mm-hmm. talk show who's AKA gonna mm-hmm. know me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, so how do we make that happen? Mm-hmm. Like, you just need more mutual. So my whole system was. If I give it to a friend, they give it to a friend, give it to a friend, they go give it to a friend that's friends, yeah. aka or something. Yeah. I was like, we need friends. I feel you. <laughs> so that was my structure. So in friends. your head, you were like, okay, I'm gonna network my way to a position. Mm. Everyone, mm. damn. I was like, yo, listen, here's my song. It's pretty spread the link. But I never ever bombarded with their broadcasts. I never broadcast. I, I think I should have. I would have been way bigger, maybe. But I never broadcast. I my friends are my friends are popular. My friends are like cool. So your friends were the, like, your PR machine, almost. Yeah, they were just like, yo, nice link. I get ha. you. But, like, yo, get you. boy, this is pretty hard to post on your link. I'm like, man, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I, don't care. I, don't care. I, don't care. I feel you. I didn't even know hands were in my DMs, all this stuff. You. I didn't know how to Because your it. homie also is the one right there. Yeah, so he's like, here. That's going to be like, yo, bro, this is her. She's the same one. I see it. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> I only got to like get to like that dating stuff and like yeah. the like dating night. I'm so focused on music, bro. Yeah. I, was, I was just, yeah. So, can you say that this music was your first love? Yeah. Like, yeah. Where you're like, it's for real. all, it's, yeah. It's the only thing that made sense for me. I think it's because in school, I was, as I said, I was smart, blah, 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 blah. But I didn't get that thing out of life that I enjoyed. Mm. And then when I made it little rose, I was like, ah, oh, it's music. It is music this whole time. So yeah, um, that's what happened to like matric, school, house parties, blah, blah, blah. Even when I finished matric, 
now it's like okay you're in the real world yeah now what's next so what happens there like how do you start moving i think i was more serious in grade nine than i was in matric about music because i think in grade nine yeah. my, when my mom said yo listen you my job, this, this. You ah, take yeah, to yeah. push your music out so like, yeah all of that by the time the trick hit, I was like, I've done a few parties, I've done this, I'm, I'm a guy in Pretoria right now, in mm. my sides, but still, I don't know how to, I, get, I, I, was, I gave up, I won't lie, I low-key gave up, but I was so good at it, so now I'm, do, I'm just doing these parties just to get some money, I, I, I get don't get my little money, I, I can't work for because like, I never got an allowance as a kid, I get you. never got an allowance, you had to figure it always out, always had to hustle, yeah. and my, my, yeah. little, my, my older sister worked at like a jewelry shop, mm. so she always gave me money. And I flipped that. Okay. I flipped, I flipped, I flipped it in many ways. I feel you. Know, you. I, feel never, I, didn't, I never struggled. Like, you know when friends are doing certain things and you need to have money to keep up with some of your friends? Facts. Not like they were born and rich. Yeah, but like just, that, but, you know, to survive, you go into this party, go into this. I need a little. Yeah. I feel it. Like I never complained. You never even jumped in their faces that, like, Dang. my brain is not like yours. My brain, I don't got an allowance. I'm a hustler. Like, I'm selling I got to figure it out. I'm selling beats. I'm selling weed. Uh, I feel <laughs> you. What else? Else? I'm mixing for money. I'm doing You're cover performing money. at parties. Yeah, they hardly pay. We got yeah, we got grill them dudes and. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, I have these different revenues of income, and I'm making it happen. Now, my sister's giving me money when it's of income. That, and then when my mom looks at me, at some point she's asking me for me, like, you, you got it, yeah. I was like, yeah, I got you, mama. Oh, yeah, 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 it's for thing. Heal you. Funding myself to parties, that kind of stuff. Like, I knew I had money when I could buy myself, like, clothes at some point. Dope. Like, I got myself some new gear for yeah, that time. Yeah. I'm yeah. nice. Took a hand out, I was like, yeah, I'm Damn. nice. But I was like, how am I going to make this make sense once I lose my stream of, because I don't want to sell the weed thing anymore. Yeah. That dude was not trying to sell weed anymore. He was trying to sell these other stuff. The okay. dude was always recording that. Oh, that okay. That's how he was that way older. Yeah. Okay. So he, I knew he was selling other stuff, but I was like, that's not in my business. Yeah. And yeah. He, at least he's plugging with these weed to move at school. But my other, yeah. so my other boy got caught. He had to change schools. I was like, you know yeah. what? I ain't about to get caught. I feel because you. you don't look at me as a guy. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. So I'm like, nah, I can't do this. Yeah. It's next month, it's yeah. not me. I, I was doing this for money. I don't care about the other stuff. I feel you. So, uh, so you leave that. all and of it, that, and then the beats thing. My beats are very weird. It's not like the commercial kind of beats, and I don't have like a big volume of clients. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, these clients are gonna dry up because these niggas gonna move. Yeah. So I got a plan ahead for that, yeah. and um, I actually want some of these beats myself. <laughs> I feel you. So I'm like, I feel nah, you. Let me make these last sales and then call I'm it. Done. So I bought a speaker with that those last sales I remember and I was trying to take this other girl out but I never had it. but anyway <laughs> so yeah um, fast forward uh, off the matric now and I can't go to like your university or yeah. colleges because yeah. situation, situation doesn't, like doesn't allow that you know yeah. it was like oh you gotta wait it out for like a year we'll see if we get funds and see if you can go somewhere but uh, anyway I didn't want to go anywhere mm. Like my sister didn't go to any college or whatever. She was I just working you. this job, this job. I like God you. really favored her, and she just got in a really good position. I get you. She she got her learning you. while at the jobs and stuff. So I now she's you. good. Also, I was like, you know what? If all else fails for me, this music shit, I'll be like my sister. I don't need to go to college. I'll, I'll figure it out. I feel, I'm, I'm a hustler. I mean, you've already <laughs> been figuring it out. So. Yeah, yeah. So it's 2017, and now the dudes I was performing at their parties. Those, those homies in Centurion, I'm now cool with them. So I'm going up to their houses. They have microphones, they have set up because they kind of come from a, not super wealthy, but like they they're kind of well off at home. They're good, you know? Good. So they got gear and stuff. So we're learning how to do that with like my other friend. We're there recording and stuff like that. And I have songs galore. I have more than one producer now. Like it's, it's me, it's my other homie producing, and there's those guys at the parties. They produce two. I'm like, okay, I'm not like two producers plus myself. I'm like, we can start something here. We can, yeah. and that's when I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start a group. I started a group. I made a logo because I could design. And that was the first time you started a group. Yeah. Because a lot of rap guys start groups way yeah. back. Yeah. I feel you. Well, in, I like feel you. when we started rapping, like in primary high school, we had a, a little group with myself, Ill Rose, okay. and like our other two homies. We just went to ATSA. I think it was automatic dope squad. Or yeah, something yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. No, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, rap. But we never yeah. actually made it. Like, Formal, formal. It wasn't until I finished yeah, the trick, yeah. and now they also making music, but they're not making the music I make. So I'm like, yo, I have my help of people now, 
and I want to show them what I've learned so far. We can make something out of this. This can be my crew. We can take over because yeah. we have the parties on lock. We have the Instagram people on lock. Yeah, we have yeah, channels yeah, here. Yeah. You guys know what, 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 what. Yeah. We have our system. I know how to make all our covers. We're good. And that's exactly what we did. We did Yo. a lot of tape drops. I never did no solo drops the whole of 2017 after like, um, high school. What was, was the it? crew's name? Um, Slum Brian. Okay. Okay. Slum Brian. You can still okay. find it on SoundCloud. <laughs> we got mad plays, everything. Yo, guys, hop on SoundCloud Slum and Brian. run those numbers up. Mm. Yeah. Crew. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And those homies I had linked, because like, they, they didn't know each other besides me linking everyone. I started to see like I'm a bridge between niggas linking and stuff. Mm. Right? So, um, we do that the whole year, but like at the same time, I'm on and off with music. I'm like, I'm not doing music. I you want a verse? Ah, let me jump on to it first. But I'm not doing music. Because I'm trying to make ends meet right now, yeah, you know? Yeah. Like, my um, couple friends were passing, I just finished. I couldn't go to college, I couldn't. So life is just here on my neck. Yeah, I'm like, on, yeah. I gotta get a retail job. That's yeah. the only thing I can get right now. Yeah. I can fund myself so I can survive and stuff. Because mm. I'm an adult, bro. Yeah. Shit, is, yeah. shit hit the fan. Shit hit the fan. Shit hit the fan, like, really, really bad. Like, yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. So I'm like, no. Jess, I can be with you guys, but me, I need to make ends meet. I need yeah, to. True. So that's what I was doing. Started the retail. I got the retail job. I was so happy. I was like, uh, I'm about to help out at home. I'm about to do this. Yeah, or what? But I wasn't interested in the music shit. 2017 goes by, 2018. We're doing the same thing, the group stuff, but I'm not doing the solo stuff. Mm-hmm. But my friends are playing with this music thing. It's still, it's still in the fun phase. The phase I was in. Oh, like, oh okay. Like, Jess, this is not the game. Yeah. We're not just doing this to be popular. Yeah, like, like kids, we popular. It's big. Let's solidify this community and system and get money out of this and like become stars Let's take over the world they weren't seeing it yet but they were really good you check so i think it was around the middle of 2018 when these dudes had reached wait no i remember now. i did a verse for big hash back then on soundcloud uh, how do you even so, how do you and hash even I, think I was, I, said, I was popping on like instagram oh, and the parties and stuff so he had hollered for yeah, remix yeah, yeah, sent that verse okay. back so okay. that verse back, right? Okay. And his SoundCloud song like, hit a couple thousand. Yeah. Like, it was yeah. the first time it was doing that for him as well. Yeah. So these these dudes reach out to sign him and I. But I didn't sign with. I was like, yo, it doesn't make sense for me signing people my age. It's like, ah, I'm not gonna learn nothing from you guys. Like, that shows me that you're very well aware. Because for someone who wanted to take music so seriously and mm-hmm. an opportunity like that comes, like, most people would have taken it. Mm. I was like, yo, bro, it has to be a big label or nothing. Like, who am I signing to? How do they know what they do and blah, blah, blah? I get blah, you. Blah. I get you. So I, I chose not to work with those dudes. Now, they're very important to the story, you know, because then later in the year, there's a pop-up shop, uh, Shane Eagle and Ricky Rick pop-up shop. I remember in Branch. I remember I came late for that pop-up and everything was gone. I was like, yo, yeah. finished. And yeah. So Shane Eagle was having his pop-up and he was playing music and Ricky was just doing one of the cotton fest. Yeah, the cotton fest. So yeah. he had invited Hash to come and they popped that H1, they mm. performed on top of the H1, right? Mm-hmm. So my homie Miles was cool with Shane Eagle at the time. So he was like, yo, he spoke at the Capsule Fest, so like, he wants to meet us, he wants ah, to meet us, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. And besides, we're also running to Ricky and Hash and them. We're all at the club I together. Feel, they were chilling yeah. with Hash them, and um, and they were, Ricky was still chilling with them, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So he's like, nah, you definitely remember us, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm going out at the club with you guys. I don't care for that stuff. Thanks. But I'll cover Thanks. you to go play them your music. But as I said, I'm not into I'm music. Not in it. I'll I go right in first with like you. I'm not feeling this shit. I feel So you. I land, I and um, I land, right? And the homies are still talking to Eagle, blah, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, after the session, we can listen to your music. I'm like, damn, he's actually going to listen to your shit. That's mm-hmm. nice. That's I'm in a space around musicians and stuff. I walk around, as we're walking around, I pop in the rig. Mm. I pop in the rig and he goes, ah, how you doing? Hey, what, 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 what? He's talking me up and I'm like, nah, I'm good. He's like, what do you do? I'm like, oh, nah, I don't do nothing. Mm. Like, you lied. Mm. Let's walk. Mm. So I walk with him, two bouncers and Gemini Mage. That's so crazy that that just happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think yeah. he saw me, he saw me green hatch. Ah, okay, okay. okay. So I think he listened. He was like, this guy, he does I something. won't lie. Ricky was always super tapped in. He was tapped in. He was tapped in. He gave hatch that verse like earlier, right? Yeah. So yeah. he said, nah, you with us at the club. I was like, nah, you with my boys, those guys. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I point them out yeah. and we walk to them. Uh, so I'm walking to them with Ricky and they looking at me like, oh, you coming with me? <laughs> <laughs> guys, you're with us at the club, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. But nah, you, you do something. Mm-hmm. I saw the thing. Mm-hmm. Let's go inside. Go 
go inside Eagle's Den. So we walk inside Shane Eagle's Den and they move a couple people with the security link bounces. So we chill there um, and then he tells us to chant the Shane Eagle song that he heard at the time. He wants him to do it. He's like, you won't do it fast. Can you guys chant? So we start chanting, blah, blah, blah. And he plays the song and the host, blah, blah, blah. Then we head outside. We head outside again with Rick and he goes, nah, you do something. What do you do? I'm like, nah, you know, my friends make music. I rap from time to time. But I have a feeling it right now, blah, blah, blah. But he's here to play his music for Shane Eagle. But he's like, no, oh, wait. I'm like, nah. I'm like, think, where are we going to play the yeah. music? Like, like, nah, we'll probably go to my car. Blah, blah, blah. He's like, what you park? I'm like, all the way up there. He's like, nah, we'll just move this Red Bull van your back here. So he moved the van. I went to go get my car. We parked back there. Right there. I'm like, ah, oh, man, Ricky's nice. Man, nice. I met a lot of people that day. Slicker, That's friends. Crazy. Oh, and I met a yeah. lot of people that day. I was just yeah. mad friendly. I didn't care to say I'm a rapper. You I know, feel you. Just, you. I feel you. So yeah, I think that's the day that actually made me when that whole day finished and I went back home, I was like, yo, I bumped shoulders with so many important people. And I know I'm important. Why did I stop? I feel Why am I just doing the crew thing and doing ah let me do this ish? I hear you. So I told dudes like, yo, let me lock in, let me do one more tape, it has to work. Mm. So I did the uh, sable tape, twenty nineteen now this going in twenty nineteen. Uh-huh. I'm still working the job. Yeah. Still yeah. helping out. Yeah. Friends are passing, so like yeah. My mind state is not so much into this music thing fully. From like, yeah. I still gotta give this a go. Yeah. It wasn't until like, ah, uh, my friend, uh, he's a pastor. I like, passed a month, I wanted to drop the tape. Damn, I'm like, ah, I need. On these, you can go to these Twitter profile right Damn. now from when these old tweets are just my looks. Just my looks. Damn. That's all it was. Bro. So it hit me, I was like, ah, yo. Damn. Now I gotta actually do this. I need to I go back into so this thing. I made a song about it. Which was the last song we put on that tape because all those songs are just fun, blah 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 blah, just flexing rap skills. Like that one was really about him and it shied me here, bro. So we put the tape out and then that's when we learned how to distribute on what what we used TuneCore at the time because we googled on how do people get their music on Apple Music and blah blah blah. They're like you need an aggregator. Like, okay, what's an aggregator? Like, yeah, yeah, Contact like, with direct to Apple. I feel like TuneCore was the first of its kind at that yeah, time, at that time, right? And, and, and I remember Chance the Rapper talking about it. Like that's actually how I found out Tune about Cole, it. CD Baby before DistroKid became yeah like, the the mm. yeah because they just improve, um, improved on the interface and made it easier for anyone mm. and like they were adding lyrics on it because Tune Cole you couldn't all of that small interface stuff DistroKid got right that they didn't at the time. So you Google it and then and you find out find out Cole. the price. I'm like okay if it's gonna cost me three hundred. Put this one song on here. Okay, then ten dollars, right? Yeah. And then you're doing then, the conversion. Ten dollars is cheap. I'm doing the conversion. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're like, it's clapping. Yeah, yeah, it's clapping. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Yo. but I got a yeah. job, so I can't. I can't afford to put like my one song. So I tested out with a couple songs. I'm like, okay. Now I'm testing out other aggregators, and I realized, okay, okay, DistroKid is the best. I was testing out mm-hmm. aggregators the whole of 2019. So I just, I used every single distro. I used United Masters. I used Tunko, DistroKid, Ditto, Amuse. Uh, Lander, you name them, I used it. I tried every I, single I, interface. I won't lie, sorry to stop you. Yeah. You know, this is another point of showing how analytical you are. I feel like you could have been like an engineer or something. Bro, because like <laughs> you dig deep into things and do like research. Yeah, because people don't know certain aggregators, these shows don't distribute to as many countries. Some only did 44 countries, some did more. Mm. Go to the ones that do more. Because I thought, no, nah, the world is going to hear me once I land up. Because now, now that thing's back in my mind. I'm going to drop this tape. It's just not fresh. I the whole world is going to hear I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> so I did the thing. I'm Yo. on every DSP. I'm on YouTube. I'm like, Jens, I'm a serious artist now. Yo. I'm way more serious. Now that's when you're like, okay, yeah. yeah. Put out my first two singles there. Um, Porsches. And then I even wanted to shoot a music video for it. Saved up money, as I said. We paid a homie to do the video. But... The way he was doing the video, it wasn't to my liking. Yeah. So I downloaded the program to do videos now. Copyrighted, I cracked it as well. I was like, you use what? A premiere. Let me what, get what, what, that. What? Slice like this. Download this. Went to his house, we watched yeah. him slice on them. He connected his laptop to the TV. And then from there, I'm like, oh, it's cutting like this, this tool, this tool. Easy. I was like, I can get it photos. This is easy. I feel And that's legit. So we collaborated on that music video. I legit did the traps. I did the what, what. Is that your first? Yeah, music and then from, video. from since then, every music video you've seen, it's also me. Damn. Made sure. So it's stuff like that. I think I got my practice with doing now party trailers for niggas. Like, yo, you need this okay. kind of video. Yo, you need um, 
you want to promote yeah, that's them. also obviously another source of income yeah i download music videos and people just at, at around the time they were like just show parties show this so I feel download music videos i quickly cut chop, cut, cut, cut and then cut. i put it together yeah just and throw an effect bro high key over. you're a genius bro nah, nah what? Yeah, i'm just finesse i feel life you. is finesse i feel you <laughs> so i was doing that getting paid i feel you so i'm doing that and now i have my first music video i'm like bro i'm a pro i'm on dsps I have a music, music video, video. I have a tape coming. Yo! So I dropped the tape and we went to like 80 in the top 200 on like Apple Music. So that first tape that you dropped Sima. when you. Yeah, Sima. Was there a rollout or when does the rollout start becoming an important thing? I didn't, I didn't know I was doing a rollout. I was okay. on Twitter going, yo, these are songs that didn't make the tape. Mm. So mm. Um, I had like mm. pocket watching or something, something. Mm. These three songs mm. in three days, I was like this, this, this. But anyway, take out next week Friday, and people really engaged with it. My first time seeing like at least thirty retweets. Okay, okay. okay. That's when my Twitter group, I mean, more community grew yeah. more than my Instagram. I was okay. like, bro, I'm that guy. Okay, it's working now. So that's the first rollout. Yeah, basically. first time I was like, okay, these guys have. Besides the album art, they have photos, they go with the thing. I know a guy with a camera, like, bro, I'll edit it. Just mm. shoot the photo, I'll edit it. Mm. It was bombs, but I had my first photo shoot, you know, I edited it. Mm. And I was like, this is my photo shoot, this is my this. Because I saw that now, paying attention to the blog era we came up on, you know, mm. was your what was. Mm. They had the pigeons and planes, your complex, facts, fade, facts, like, facts. Like, email mama, facts. Have your pressure, facts. Have your drug. And then. Like, don't put it up. If you have professional photos and this, that's all you need. So I email all of them. I guess. I guess. So my emails were very much sloppy at first, sloppy, mm-hmm. sloppy, but mm-hmm. the more I did it, the better it I got better. it. And I was like, okay, these blogs will eventually post me. I think only like one posted me, but yeah. big. I feel you. It's big. I feel you. It's big. I feel you. So then I was like, wait, don't, in SA, don't we have that? I was like, it's only slicker. And I, I landed on Slicker like three times. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The blog that first posted you, where are they from? America. What? America, I even forgot the... And it wasn't Pigeons. Pigeons. Yeah, yeah, I really wanted Pigeons. Yeah. I was one of them. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. ooh, I got on it. Yes. Crazy. I was like, I'm big. I feel I'm because when I contact the next people, I can use that as a reference. Yeah, yeah, as a reference. That's why I always did on the day reference. Kind of got some. So I'm, I'm learning how to do emails on this. This is all 2019, my dear. Because all goes my friend path that I'm taking this seriously. You. Now you're like, yo, I have to. It's always a key thing. moment in a personal life. I was yeah, like, yeah, gotta yeah. take it serious. Yeah. So I'm yeah. doing all of this. And then we, so we tried at number 80. And then, actually, I'm skipping the whole high. I met Tata Soul now, but that's another story. So yeah. he's, the, he's just fast forward, we homies now. Yeah. And we both doing this music thing. And he's like, I also, I'm also dropping next month. And he drops, he also goes around the 80s. We like, bro, we're big. Like, okay. oh, we just gotta keep. So he's telling me, we just gotta keep at Okay. I'm like, yeah, we gotta keep okay. at So every time we're recording, we're showing up. Now I'm recording my songs. Like, I'm going hard, bro. I feel you. And dudes are wondering how I'm able to cock out verses fast. I'm like, bro, I've been rapping. I feel you. This, this has yeah, to work. Those 10,000 hours. This has exactly Now exactly. it makes sense now. I'm finally clocking. We're doing this, doing this, what, what. So we have like tapes in the cut, like maybe three each, all of us. Yeah. And it's 2020 now. Before March, mm-hmm. we hear about this COVID thing. They're like, you're also going to lock us down. Yeah, like, if they lock us down, we move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take over if they lock us down. Yeah, either yeah. way. We're just about to listen yeah. to us. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what happened. We said this, and that's exactly what happened. We dropped tapes the whole year, and we didn't drop on a Friday, we dropped on a Thursday because your bigger artists are out on Friday. Thursday, we need mm-hmm. the all the attention. We need. The focus to be on us. No struggle on Thursdays. Mm-hmm. You can set it up like that. Mm-hmm. So we did that, and every time we got the focus, our friends on socials would always engage because they're all they they at home watching Netflix, checking their socials. You gotta see us eventually. Damn, that's all we did. So then I learned to put audio behind uh, my pictures, make a movie. I get you. I get you. Post it on the social. Yeah. Media, so get it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, bro. Yeah. Everything was translated, 100 retweets, a couple friends are getting more. Now people are seeing a movement, but they're not crediting it to us. Okay. No, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. When we get out this lockdown, mm. we're going to be those guys. You're going to have to okay. book us at your bigger shows. It's no more just house parties. Because now the parties are dead. Lockdown here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It changed everything, everything. bro. Yeah. It had to change how we were doing yeah. it. 
Yeah. And then going into 2021, it was um, now the same thing. We still, I don't know, we're coming out slowly from the lockdown. Mm. But now we're coming out bigger names. I get you. Bigger names. They still don't want to admit it, but like, we in your face. The fans Damn. are saying. So that's when I'm like, what is next for me? Because I feel like I'm known in PT. Mm. I feel like I'm known in Jaws. Mm. Like the name is bubbling. It's, it's, really, it's making a difference. But what's the next? But what's next? I'm like, I've emailed. I haven't emailed blogs in a while now. Okay. Because I'm just like, screw, they don't support me. Yeah. They focus on the fans. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, I dropped Dulce in 2021. Every time I felt like life is bad, make a project. Okay. Never stop. Never stop. I feel like another thing that you're really good at is converting bad energy and then channeling it into something. Because this is all we had, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. uh, I, I yeah. got COVID, me, it hit because. I was an essential worker. I was working I at a feel, pharmacy yeah. store. Okay, as a cashier. So, so, essential worker. So I never got the break. So my friends are at home chilling. What? 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 And you're going to I'm work. I'm still going to work, and I'm still punching in. I feel I the music, but I can't record with them. So I saved up my money. I bought my own gear. Damn. Take it down. I'm recording in the room now. I feel you. Keeping it soft tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so. Yeah, yeah. I'm learning how to mix. But then that's when I'm meeting like this guy called Physique who knows how to mix as well. And he moves mm. top. So I'm like, eventually, yeah. when we come out of lockdown, I'm gonna link with him, and he's gonna polish yeah. the sound, blah blah blah. Okay. So I'm getting better at this, and I dropped Dulce, and that's when like, um, uh, I met my girlfriend. My girlfriend yeah. really inspired me at that time Dope. to like take this thing very serious. Dope. Like, yo, Dope. I saw that no man, this person really rides for me. Yeah. Like, don't do that. Yeah. She's not telling me what to do with me. Yeah. She's just like, I believe. You. I feel Dude, that's what I needed because I feel a lot of my friends passed away at the time. A lot, like, bro, I think 13. 13 yeah. 2021. And it was a lot of close homies. Like, the, I was with my homies like recently, recently, some yeah. of them, like the seven of us. Yeah. Like, seven of us left, bro. That's crazy. And these are the homies that were obviously putting the battery in your bag, like, yo, yeah. dog. So, that's also another reason you probably fell out of love with the music and shit. Yeah, like, I think. Cause like the first time I was seeing that, like, bro, life goes on without you. These yeah. things, happen. yeah, regardless, you gotta learn right. how to deal with it. Like, yeah, you gotta put this emotion in your music. Like, how do you deal with it? How do you express it? And music was my outlet, Channel. and so I couldn't let it go. That was my only outlet. I saw, I was so depressed, bro. But when I started making the music, I felt better. So I was like, you know what, I gotta do this. Cause during the pandemic, while we dropping all these tapes. I'm driving my one home girl to work every time she's working at the bookstore with the retail. Yeah, she gets in early, yeah, so on my days I'm free, I'm dropping her off. I she's free. You. I'm working at the hospital now, like 12 hours, right? Yo, so 12 hours. Yeah, she is. 12 hours, night and day. 6 to 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. or 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I, I that hear. kind of thing, right? So she dropped by sometime and come by the crib when I'm free and I'm tired and like we're kicking and talk. So you still good at music? I'm like, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She yeah. passed. So she passed and it fucked with me, dog. Cause like we, she kept it to herself that she had yeah. cancer, right? Yeah. And it fucked with me. I remember this one week I couldn't yeah. drive it to work and I wondered why. Yeah, what's what's what's. So the other one girl who works with her was also my friend. Uh, she was just like, ah, oh, no, don't worry, no. She's just sad, like, don't worry. Yo. Yeah. And then I hear, no, she's in the hospital. Ah, what? I'm not breathing issues. Don't worry, she'll be good. Yo. Yeah. Ah, bro, I got a cold in my throat. Like, ah, she passed. So the whole the reason damn. why sometimes you find her grumpy is because ah, she had the cat. I was like, oh, damn, bro. Bro, it felt to me. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. It killed me completely. I was like, you know what? Let me. But while I'm working at the hospital, I, I checked Tato Soul's Instagram stories, and he's in the hospital for treating his own conditions. He was going through some injury right, as well. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, my dog, you here at where I work? He's like. Work at that, like this nigga kid, crazy. Like, yeah, he's like, yo, you should lock in for the, for the tape. Mm-hmm. That's that's what lets us do in the collapse. And I put out all my feelings into there, and I was like, don't take this more serious. This is the year we drop a lot, all of that. Yeah. After that, everything's been super serious. So, when was it? Damn. So, yeah, 2021, um, we're pushing out stuff. Uh, I don't know if you know Malachi. Probably. Yes, no. I know Malachi. I know so Malachi. Malachi, you know, he display picture with the white. Yes, yes. The white thing. With yes. The doodle drawing with the. Yes. Changed his DP to my album cut. And that was the first time he had ever changed first that sofa. And only time I've ever seen him do that. And he did that for my tape, uh, Dulce. So that's what led to then the, the homecoming booking. The first time getting like an established performance in my city. I feel so you. So I said from there, I'm going to just market it better. I'm going to just go further blah blah, okay. blah blah all of this okay. but still 
I don't have that kind of music yet that has translated to the beat. Like it's good. I'm bu- I'm buzzing mm-hmm. on what, but I feel like on my next drop, I'm gonna have. That's why I'm stacking up the songs with home. I have like forty songs. I've written down <coughs> all the emails and who I'm gonna contact. I'm saying that this tape is gonna be the one that breaks over for me. Okay. So um, come closer to the end of the year. Now I've had like a couple fallouts with a few friends, like regarding music, because their relationship with music has changed. Mm-hmm. Mine has remained the same. They are it's only intensified. They're not seeing the results they like with their music. Yeah. So, because we make all our music together, they're thinking I should also just fall back on it. But I, I can't. Yeah, I want to go even harder with this thing. more serious. Yeah. So, it led to um, an old associate of mine like not giving me access to those 40 songs I recorded. So, I did all these 40 songs and this is my tape. I'm ready. Nah, I don't have access to all of that. So I, that, that pushed me to start again from scratch. But this time I can't get another leaf from work to do this. So mm. I was delegating at least one day a week to go and record a lot of demos. So I think each session I was clocking maybe seven, five. And then one session I clocked 10 songs. Damn. Just to get to like, I think we got to like 15. Okay, songs. 15 yeah. or was it 20 something? Because yeah. the others that just gave us features to people. Um, so we had clocked 18 and then from there we condensed and we worked even more. That's when I reached out to everybody I knew. I really wanted this tape to be the one. So I contacted Una Rams. I was like, when are you free from spine, what, what, what? He came right after work, after school, two physiques. I mean, not after school, <laughs> after, after work, work yeah. he recorded. Yeah. Uh, and then with Tato, we're playing FIFA. We both recorded the same homie. So oh. we're playing FIFA, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh. let's go record that joke. I even forgot we had to record because I don't want to ask you. Yeah. So he was telling me, let's go record that song for you. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Walked out our song. And then all the other homies just fell in place. And then it so happened that I was talking to a friend of mine who was talking to a Han who was talking to Marcus Harvey. Oh, and then it was, uh, yo, this guy, he kind of fucks with you. Um, yeah. You want to meet him? I'm like, nah, I guess. Yeah. Like, okay, drive to the street, talk club, come up. I check the address, it's Alex. So I'm like, yeah, Brian, I don't feel nothing. Yeah, I'm let's go. Yeah. I go over there, I park, yeah. I just wait. I'm like, nah, all hoods are the same. Yeah. So yeah. I just wait there. Same shit. Someone knocks on the window and goes, Ah, wait, you're Tyson. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's my so dope. So and dope. then from there, we recorded out the lab. Okay. So every feature was just coming through, okay. coming through. And I'm like, I might have my best project to date because I know how much has gone into this. I lost the songs that were originally supposed to be for that tape. I had to start from scratch again. Damn. I really, it was really on me, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So. Now it's like gearing up closer to the time, and I'm trying to pick what how to roll it out. Mm-hmm. That's when I discuss like different ideas. Like I'm gonna make a custom helmet because of, again, to stand out against my peers, everyone in PTA is big. They have bigger names than me, bigger notoriety. Um, they have having access to these cosigns. They um, have the I'm, network. I don't have yeah. that. Yeah, I don't have that yet. Yeah. I'm just really good at this rap thing, mm-hmm. which they're also good at. So I need my own thing to stand out. So I was looking at how people have always had accompanying assets with their music with their music okay, like, okay aka throw the helicopter and shoes out yeah have shoes yeah. accompany the thing yeah. then all this you have to show what 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 yeah. all that guy yeah bro i work yeah. at i work at a retail store i feel you my budget is low i feel i just you. got the tape done what can you do in your capacity it's like okay the focus here is on narrative i realize that people engage with the music when there's a story behind it like i'll give you the gunner mm-hmm. example right now the music is amazing because we know the Rico story. I feel one. you. It, it reflects from his actual life. We yeah. can gauge it. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, what's my story? What am I talking about in home? I was like, you know what? Let me just wear that. Like, yo, I'm not trying to be some cool rapper okay. with flyers designer with yeah. this. What I got yeah. is a couple plain white yeah. t shirts. Yeah. 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 Braid my hair again. I got a lot of hair. I got yeah. a lot of hair right now. Yeah. Just braids. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just, just going to see me. And I'm going to just talk about my friend. I'm going to just talk about. Your life, my life, story. But I'm gonna make it cool. Yeah. That's all I can do. Just make it cool with this rap thing. So that's all I have going for me, narrative wise. Like what I'm going through, what I've been through. I'm rapping about my job every single minute. <laughs> I, I so, wanna ask you something. Um, yeah. Presentation, right? I spoke about it in the beginning of the interview. Mm-hmm. Cause a lot of artists, like the art of the rollout, is almost dead, right? And yeah. maybe COVID contributed to that. But like when you find an artist like Lise Kanye West, right? Mm. He's a phenomenal artist, right? But his presentation of the product he's just made equals that. Yeah. Now, 
how did you know that the presentation is just as important as the product? Uh, I had made friends with a friend who does design, right? He was a photographer, I thought only, but he also does design, design yeah. uh, a show. So he has a lot of structure to what he does. Okay. When he's designing covers for people and blah, blah. And how he speaks on it. I'm like, yeah, the color needs to be this um, kiwi in. needs to sound like this color, this, one, one, one. I've always said that, but I've never been good at translating it. Like, I've made most of my covers until meeting him. Now we've both been involved in the covers. So I was like, how can we make it translate better? So the talk was with him, like, yo, this time around, let's have accompanying assets. Because we can't afford to get like a dome to perform for you. Uh, I hear that. You can't this. Hear so that. everything we do has to be online. He's like, you want to do all this extra stuff? I'm like, yeah. How do we customize a helmet and make mm. put like lights inside the helmet? Mm. We tried. We actually tried it out, but mm. I couldn't perform with the helmet. So I'm like, I can't yeah. make them engage with that character. Okay. And I've seen, I saw examples of the weekend Kendrick Charles Gambino with how they adopted a persona and they pers- okay. adopted a theme okay. and an outfit okay. that goes with yeah. every single release. I'm yeah. like, okay, yeah. to make I this, can do that. Yeah, as I said, I got a bunch of white shirts yeah. and braids. I'm like, yeah. okay, who's got braids right yeah. now? Yeah. Look, yeah. Yeah. okay, no yeah. one. Okay, cool. Yeah. We'll do that. It really has to always be this specific kind of baggy white tee. That's what you got to roll. Damn. Okay, 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 cool. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm like, this, but what are we talking about? I'm like, okay, the concept is home, um, but for me, it's what, what a home resembles for you and what you're talking about, what's part of your community. Not like we're rapping about, hey, in my hood, we this. No, no, no. Very much yeah. your friends, what we're going through, um, the, our climate of doing things, get that. and the things you're housing internally, what you're going through. Like, it's personal, personal, personal. Get but that. just home. I get that. So it's like, how do I translate that even more in this story? I'm like, no, oh, bro, you gotta find yourself. So, like, you're missing. The homie was like, I bet, but what else is missing? I'm like, can we try the helmet thing? What else can we do? What else we can do out in person? I was like, bro, ski mask. He's like, everyone's wearing a ski mask. Mm-hmm. Kanye, mm-hmm. Kanye, mm-hmm. one. We can't I'm do like, that. Right, then no face, no nothing. So like, so an no over image, we just blank. That's face. the blank face. And work with that, because we were like, yo, we want the listener to see themselves in this character. Damn. Okay, oh, we got this. We nailing it. So as as a as a artist who's coming up. Weren't you worried that people are going to hear this amazing music that I've made, but they won't put the face to the music? That was the risk we're taking. Yeah. So early in the year, people were tweeting about, ah, oh, artists are allowed to do whatever they want. Oh, mm. no, no. Mind you, I don't like mysterious artists. Okay, I but feel you. I said, no. I feel you. Trying to be cool, reverse, hiding a yeah, 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 yeah. All that. Oh, with the jersey covered, yeah. off the mouth. I, yeah. Ah, I yeah. hate that kind of stuff. Crazy. Because I'm like, you guys don't engage with people. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So we're kind of taunting that kind of rollout that's oh. overused. So we're like, nah, let's go. Let's do what they do. You know, let's do this. Clear everything. We cleared okay. my whole IG. Clear everything. We're like, oh, the music we dropped before. Screw it. Let's clear everything. Damn. So we even went to my previous covers and we blanked out those faces. So when people went on DSP, they were like, his face is what? blanked out and it's written, it's found in home and all my previous... So if you listen to my previous songs, you're like, why did the cover change? Yeah, and the yeah. Story. And then my DSP asset changed to like the blank face thing, just to read really the concept. Is. Now my Instagram page is blank and people don't know how to contact mm-hmm. me. I'm like, because I, I always plan to launch the website, so I'm like, this is the perfect time. Mm, to launch, launch the, the website. website. And we add the mailing list. Like, yeah, you yeah, get sure. updated info on every song I drop, blah, blah, yeah. blah, and the releases, and yeah. what blog p- put me up. Yeah. But we're going to treat it as a, you got to find him. I guess. So everyone signed up on the email. And as soon as you found, click, bring home. Bring home. As soon as you click right. that button, it said, Thank you, we'll find that boy. Okay. <laughs> so you add it on the mailing list and then you just wait and then we didn't know what the first single was gonna be. Damn. So I had this the day we launched the website we got unconscious mm. launch. We just cleared my whole page. Um it's just proper freestyle. Mm. So we made that beat, freestyle, put it out thirty minutes later on Twitter and Instagram. Damn. Very blank with the missing poster. Uh, that was the Found Bring Home song. Uh, that wasn't supposed to be the single. It was supposed to just be an internet a little okay. Freestyle to, to bring in the website yeah. and everything else. To, okay. To let you know that home is coming in game. Okay. I wasn't, wasn't I wasn't planning on doing a single at all. Project was supposed to drop as is. Yeah. But then they had a song that actually picked up Steve. Yeah. That was the most engagement I ever seen. For a song with no hook, no drums. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just rap it. Yeah. Over People were also super hungry for rap at exactly. that time. Yeah. Yeah. And up. like really good rap. They looked at that. That was a fifteen-minute verse. That's yeah. the thing. It was yeah. very much in the moment that we can't just launch the website without the thing. So we put the website in the bio. We said wait twenty minutes and then put the thing up, put the link up, and 
they did that went for us. They just pushed it everywhere. Now the blogs are contacting us on how, mm. what's the new single, what's the one one. So the people who reached out in the DMs, I quickly added them to the mailing list. Mm. I contacted them, them personally, like, yo, listen, here's a private link to the tape. Mm. That song wasn't even there. Okay. So everyone heard the tape, and I'm like, this is when it's going to drop. Um, okay. The cover art was the blank face. Yeah. yeah. And I was actually announcing the cover art, okay. but I realized that, no, I need a new one. I need to keep running mm. this thing. It's like, like a plan is never linear. That's what people need to understand. Okay. A plan needs to always be treated as what you want to do, what you want to do. And um, you need no, to be no. able to update it in real time. Yeah. However you move along this whole thing, yeah. please don't go linear. Yeah. It will never be linear. It will never go the way you want, want it to. to. So factor in room for disappointment and room for how it might develop and change. Because yeah. as I said, the blackface thing was supposed to be a mask. I feel but you. But we couldn't perform with a mask. So, ah. so yeah, that's what we got that, right? Now... Those new blogs that contacted and the emails that I've, I've written down, yeah, yeah. now they're all in one place and I'm making enough noise. Now I'm like, yo, listen. Okay. J. Joey and Aries are just coming off their collab tape mm. from December. Yeah. It's like March, April now. They're kind of a hot topic in the mm. hip hop scene because no one else has come swinging yet besides us PTA dudes. We're coming with our singles. Mash, myself, Tato. I'm like, okay. And I started talking to Jody. He just posted my name. But I was like, oh, bet. you know, bro, I got something for you. Yeah, yeah. He was like, hey, folks, yeah. that shit on the page. Yeah. I'm like, put yeah. a verse on it. Damn. And he put a verse on it, and he suggested we do a vid. I'm like, I know exactly what kind of vid we need to do. Okay. The okay. Pusha T and Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. One yeah. shot. Yeah. But yeah. we got to transition yeah. it better. I don't know if people see when I finish mm-hmm. my verse. I like roll back and yes, people. Yes, 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 yes. There were a lot of important people that were at the video shoot, but no one's in the video. Damn. You made sure, like, yeah, it's, it's literally image. about you and Jody and the whole VHS aesthetic that ran through our home. So the video is also ingrained. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. expensive VSTs going into that VS into the look of the thing. Like we weren't even paid for those presets and yeah. treat them like yeah. these look like actual VHS. Yeah. Yeah. All my footage, all my supporting assets were in that VHS preset that yeah. I bought. Yeah. I used it with everything, like. Uh, Promo clips to put in that little Damn. thing. This little, and then everything is just a young blank face. I feel you. Tie into that. I and then you. gearing up to the release of the thing, we dropped the single. Did extremely well. Yeah. New yeah. context, people yeah. want to know, people want interviews. We like, yeah. save it up for after. Yeah. after. Yeah. That's the only time we're going to tell them the whole story. So now we gain and gave it from this, and gave it from this. Mind you, I have no photo shoots, no nothing. Just this blank face stuff here. Literally, that's yeah. all I saw on Twitter and in different corners of it, it Twitter. Was, it was translating. Oh, that's yeah. what I knew. Like, okay, yeah, it's working. This is what a rollout is. Yeah. People don't understand. It's a buzzword term right now, but a rollout is anything you can do to get people engaged. I so even if it's fake you. Uh, publicity or any scam, I get you. That's a rollout. Yeah. Now convert that into something else. Mm. That's what it is. Mm. So people saying, nah, that's what a rollout is. Right. Nah, nah, anything's a rollout. It's I just that ill you. Mine is a narrative kind of. I get you. you. It's a themed rollout. Damn. These are the guys I looked up to. So you put that out, I'm assuming your life changes. Yo, bro, crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah. We passed. I, was, I peaked at only 80, maybe 50 in the yeah. hip hop category. Yeah. Now I'm in the old genre top 20. Oh, now in hip hop, I'm like in the top man. 10 on Apple Me, and I'm not leaving. Yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, we yeah. got him. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. It's yeah. not everyone I can think of like that I've looked up to or like had respect for in the music space is hitting me up. Mm-hmm. It's like I was at a Hatfield show and I'm getting photos from one, 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 one. I'm like, that's cool. I don't care for that, but it shows me that no, I'm making one no more. There's no shit. Because those, these people only get in contact with you because like, there's no shit going on with you. For us to get motion again, you the motion guy. We need to work with you. We get our motion. I guess. Someone else sees their motion. Yeah. It's the, how the community yeah. works. Yeah. I, yeah, that's I, literally I how that it works. Early. That's how it works. When you're hot, you're hot. When yeah. other people are hot, you need to work with the hot people or find a way to get hot. How do you not get mad at people who overlooked you or didn't pay attention when you weren't hot? Mm-hmm. Versus when you are hot, because a lot of people carry that with them. Yeah, you know, people, people are dumb. I'll say that for free. It's like I can't look at another artist and think they're supposed to make my career happen. So I never looked at a Ricky or a AK or what, what yeah. DMing them like, yo, what, 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 what? Yeah. And then later when you pop and you go, yeah, but I DM. Yeah. You. <laughs> like, bro. Yeah. You. Yeah. Every single interaction 
it needs to come with like it needs to be fair towards them. Yeah. You know what you want. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, want yeah, to collab yeah, with yeah. someone bigger so yeah. that you can get their yeah. audience. What's in it for them? Yeah, yeah, nothing, right? Yeah. So don't be yeah. mad. Don't be mad at that. Be mad if they didn't. That's the best way to look at it. I never looked at any artists to make anything happen for me. Even crazy enough, because now I'm cool with Creed, right? Yeah, Creed, Creed. Yeah, yeah, Creed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you guys went crazy. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. See, I yeah, got it. Yeah. I DM'd him back then when I was rolling out my previous day. But not on some, yo, I want to work with you. I was like, yo, listen, we met the other time at that show. My friend gave you a USB, but none of my music was in there. Mm-hmm. Um, here's my snippet song. Listen to my snippet if you can. But it's fine. You know, one day I'm going to work with you, though. That's all. Kept it moving. Have a good day. Kept it moving. As time went by, and gave him pretty ugly stuff. Normal stuff, like as a fan. Mm-hmm. You know, I never knew, I never wanted him to make my career happen. None of these people. So, Eventually, when I work my way up, and eventually he hits me up, and we like have a casual talk, we laugh about those things. It's like, yo, Brian, what was this? Mm-hmm. That was you. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. crazy, yeah. right? Time flies. Yeah, yeah. time flies. Yeah. Because I never got a hand out. Damn, that's the Nobody. best energy to carry in this thing because you will it will turn you to a villain like yeah you'll get mad at niggas and be like yeah now i'm here now what expectations yeah. expectations for things that you can't control and that they can't control themselves yeah bro you don't you don't know what's gonna happen by the time the year ends mm-hmm. who's on top you know these roles always reverse things change life is long yeah yeah, yeah. all yeah. of this it's like i don't want to ever have a linear expectation out of this music thing i'm doing it because i know this is my only option. It's the only thing yeah. I can do, and yeah. because I love it, yes. Yeah. But I don't care for the the fame aspect that comes with it. It's important. I'm not going to deny it. It's it's very important. But I don't think that guides me. That wakes me up to do this thing. Blah blah blah. I know my reasons. So when all this attention, all this stuff comes, I still know what's important. And I focus on that. So as long as my music is covering that for me, then you're good. I'm good. Okay, and then quickly, how did the, which was another genius move, the yes. project with the sobering happen? Like, how did you even think to collab with a podcast? That's the thing. So, like, going from, from home, right, was like, okay, what's, what's next? Because I got the, the nominations, and yes. if you put out a good pra- uh, project or whatever, these are signs that, okay, you did well, because mm-hmm. you nominated, doing your festivals, you're on the right blog, mm. get in the playlist coverage. Mm. Got a distro deal from someone in Europe. Mm. We're good. Mm. I own all of this. I'm nice. I'm moving as an indie, but like I can finally get like a nice income out of this music. I bit get by it. Bit by bit. I get Smoking, it. piling up. So the next effort, I can't fall back now. Yeah. yeah. Now I've set a high standard for myself. It's, it's, so and I it has move. to keep going up. Right? So that's why I decided like this year, look, let me try out how the label thing works. Because I've seen what they do with a distro and I want more. Let me see what how label does it. But if I'm gonna do it that route, it's the fifty years of hip hop. I gotta do a mixtape. Mm. Gotta do a mixtape. Mm. And mixtapes have I am I'm hosting from DJs. Yes. But and DJs were in charge of like every time they're in the club or what, they putting you on the new stuff. They breaking They're curating. Up. DJ yeah. don't break a record now? Like him playing I a lot in the club. You. Bro, it's not breaking. You. But who controls the conversation? The, the podcaster. That's what pop culture is. Oh, so I was like, ah, genius. They they cool. They the homies. Blah blah. And yeah. they are on the needle in mm-hmm. essay when how the culture moves in essay. Mm-hmm. Like everyone's gonna, everyone respects what they have to say. Yeah. Or someone they they co-sign yeah. and all of yeah. that. Yeah. They basically Switzerland for everyone in hip hop. Like everyone's cool with them. Yeah. So it's like okay, now it only really makes sense for them to like host this and like have skits and blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. that's what I wanted initially. And then they went overboard with the skits. They even mm-hmm. put attention to detail, song by song. I wanted yeah. them to just gas it up, yeah. like ad lib. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's all I wanted. Basically, like DJ drama yeah. or what DJs back in the day used to do on drop tags. Yeah, yeah. 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 we we yeah. yeah. practiced that, but we didn't end up using that. Damn, we, we even ran it by them. We were just trying to incorporate that. Yeah. So then we added the flame explosions, all of that, to give it the mixtape feel. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. even on one song, the whole the song starts in the middle. Yeah, and reverses yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. And rewinds. Yeah, because that's what got us in the music. That's it. The mixtapes with your walk flockers. Yeah, this. Get you. So it's like get you. pay homage to that. Pay homage to what got me into music, and also pay homage to the culture that's. It was like a full that. circle moment for for you. Like yeah. from when you listened to like mixtapes on that piff till like oh mm. now you're working with quote unquote what the DJs were back then but exactly. now they're on the pulse of the issue. So it, 
it only it only made sense. I pitched the idea to him. I was really halfway on the tape. Yeah. yeah. I didn't. I can't even tell you. There's no leftover songs or demos that we didn't. The songs I recorded, the songs I used. I feel you. Like ah, uh, damn. I felt good doing all that whole that whole process was very quick. As I said, it was just like the name. Yeah. When I was yeah. talking to that day, yeah. when I was yeah. working on that song, yeah. that's who I featured. Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna say it again. You're a genius. If no one's ever I, told you that, I mean, you're trying. definitely a genius. I'll be mean, trying. That's yeah. the thing. It's yeah. like, so I, now that Tyson is here, you've put in your 10,000 hours. I'm sure you're even about to clock your second 10,000 hours. Right? Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> what does the future look like for Tyson? What can people expect? Um, I know even more crazier rollouts like... Mm better versus i think for me it's gone from just liking doing this to yeah. wanting to do this for a living yeah. to wanting to do this to make a change yeah. in the system we're operating so i think for me the next things i do are going to very much dictate how everyone else is going to do the next shit okay how everyone else should follow in a way that benefits the artist okay very much in a in a system that doesn't favor us anymore yeah. it's forever adapting but it doesn't adapt in a way that favors the biggest contribute to the okay. music. The music isn't respected as much. So much that you come to expect like a hundred albums on Friday. You yeah. Get yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm yeah. like, that's yeah. the most important aspect of this. Yeah. So we can't treat it like that. Yeah. So yeah. we need to start training people how to respect this mm-hmm. art again. So my role is now going to be how we interact in the space. As in, a lot of rule changing, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Whether that can be how contracts are set up or yeah. how we distribute. Yeah, that's my next focus, actually. Okay, and then, um, damn, what's your last word to the youth? Like, what what do you have to say to a kid who's out there who's like, yo, I'm I'm dope, I can rap, I'm creative, um, I have a team around me, my friends believe in me. What's your last word to the youth? What would you say? Don't take no one's advice. Like legit, don't take even mine. Don't take my advice. Use it as an example, and look at the artists you love and the ones that got you into the music thing. Look at their careers, and ask yourself, like, let's say if Kendrick Lamar did some ish with Dr. Dre, ah, who works with Dr. Dre? People at Interscope, people at Aftermath. Who are the people at Aftermath mm, and Interscope? Look yeah, at those people. Yeah. Find out. Just ask questions. Yeah. For the for the things you're interested in, ask questions. Break it down. Just you start with a at, at an end result you want, and you just work your way backwards from there, and you'll find a way, a blueprint, on how to do that same thing. Like how I broke it down today. Yeah, Legit. yeah, yeah. Well, anything is possible if you put yeah. your mind to it, but you need to ask questions. Yeah, you're not gonna get answers if you don't ask questions, because someone's gonna have the answer if, if that person you're asking doesn't. I feel That's it. You. Just ask questions. Okay, dope. Um, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Dead Radio. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, we'll be back. And you're live on Dead Radio. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>